Tim here. Uh, today I am doing a special vlog to honor the release of the new Slipknot album called We Are Not Your Kind. Uh, now I'm not going to do a review of it per se as far as the music is concerned because um, I haven't heard the whole thing. Um, I did purchase it this morning uh, from iTunes. However, unfortunately, for some reason, uh, half the album seems to not be downloaded, um, which is a problem I've had with iTunes in the past. Kind of pisses me off because I really, really enjoyed it. Um, so far, uh, very heavy, uh, very upbeat for the most part. Uh, it does have those little instrumental, like minute long songs in between, you know, here and there, uh, which are okay. Uh, but all in all, I think, you know, it harkens back to the early, like, Iowa, uh, you know, type sound. Um, in my opinion, uh, heavier and definitely faster than the grade chapter. Um, but that's just my opinion. Uh, again, I haven't heard the whole record yet, but I did go to FYE today at the mall because all men in their 40s without kids just go to the mall. Um, anyway, I picked up We Are Not Your Kind at the mall. I think it was $29.99. A couple dollars more than you could probably get it on Amazon, but um, I wanted to be able to get this now on the day of release. So we're going to open this together. Apparently, this is the limited edition silver vinyl. Fancy. Uh, so let's see what we have. Taking the shrink wrap off of it now. Ugh. All right, so once again, uh, Slipknot, We Are Not Your Kind. Um, let's see, let's open it up here. It has a gatefold. Uh, on the inside, uh, it just looks like a picture of a face or something in the middle uh, and lyrics. Well, let's see here. Let's pull out the first record. Because, uh, you know, of course, nothing, no album can come on single vinyl anymore. Everything is double vinyl now. Um, I don't know if that has something to do with 180 gram or something like that or, or what that has to do with. Um, but let's take a look. Ooh. Fancy. Silver vinyl. Silver vinyl. That's very fancy. All right, so that's record one. I imagine record two probably looks the same, uh, but we'll check that out in a minute anyway. Um, also in here is an insert uh, that has a picture of all the different band members and what I assume are new masks. Um, on the back side, just some sort of fuzzy, slipknot -y type picture thing. All right. And let's see. Ooh. Let's, uh, Maybe I wasted my money with iTunes this morning because as most new vinyl does, it does come with a download card uh, for you to be able to go out and download the album from the internet. Uh, so, you know, it kind of offsets the cost a little bit. When you think about it, it's $30 to buy a new vinyl, but at the same time, you do get the MP3s or you do get a card to download the MP3s. So you get not only the vinyl, which is cool, but you also get the digital format, you know, for your phones or your cars or whatever you're, you know, whatever you use for uh, listening to music. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put record one back in here. We're going to pop out record two. Again, you know, in this fancy sleeve. And let's, let's see if we can recreate the excitement of the first one. Ooh, silver vinyl. That's right. Um, again, that's very cool. Uh, I guess it's an FYE exclusive, so I guess if you buy it off Amazon, you get it in standard black, or I'm sure there's some sort of blood red edition or something like that. I mean, you know, it's, it's metal, why not? Um, you know, so once again, um, you know, this is the new Slipknot album. I know with all the excitement over the new Tool song that came out this week, uh, it seems like uh, the Slipknot album may have been forgotten somewhat. Um, I'm not sure, I just didn't hear as much about it as I've heard about the Tool song all week. Uh, but the new Slipknot album did come out today, August 9th, uh, 2019. Uh, check it out. Like I said, so far I've heard maybe half to two-thirds of the record. Uh, fantastic. You know, very heavy. Uh, I am a little surprised to see that the song, the single they put out, All Out Life, that came out, I think it was earlier this year, uh, was not included on, on, on this album, even though it actually has the lyric in the song saying, We Are Not Your Kind. Um... Uh, I really dig that song. Uh, it was It's the theme to WWE NXT. Um, and again, I'm very surprised that it's not on the album called We Are Not Your Kind. But at the same time, Houses of the Holy by Led Zeppelin, the song, is not actually on Houses of the Holy. It's on Physical Graffiti. So it's not like it's the first time something like that's been done. I just thought it was a little bit weird uh, that it came out, you know, 
you know, I guess, you know, however long before the album did, but it's not part of the album. Um, unless it's a hidden track or something like that, I'm not sure. Like I said, I haven't made it all the way through the record. Um, you know, I plan to today uh, via my silver vinyl, FYE exclusive. Mm. Um, so, you know, everybody go out and pick this up today. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm always big on new music. Uh, so far, I don't think Slipknot did anything to reinvent the wheel of, you know, of what they do. I mean, it's very much a Slipknot record, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, you know, to me, new music is new music, whether it's by a brand new band or a band like this that's been around for 20 years. Um, so again, go pick it up. Uh, hope you enjoyed this, uh, this special vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I hope, uh, again, hoping to get on more of a weekly, bi-weekly basis with my vlogs. And I do have another one coming out soon where I discuss uh, what I consider to be kind of tweener bands, in-between bands, transition bands, um, you know, somewhere between hair metal and grunge. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, otherwise, thanks. Have a great one.